you're involved with the rollout or installation and maintenance of a new radio network, you're likely to have to make the same measurement of the same device many, many times, whether it be a cable, antenna, transmitter, or diplexer filter. The limit line capability on this series of analyzers makes this task incredibly simple for minimal effort up front. Here I'm measuring the same duplexer or diplexer filter that we measured previously. But I've created some limit lines. You can see here I've created a, a limit line uh, around the pass band and the notch of this filter. And where the measurement of the device passes and meets the specification, the trace remains yellow. But where it doesn't pass, uh, the trace goes red and we get a fail indication on the top of the screen. Now you may think this is complicated to set up, but in fact it's incredibly simple. To get there we simply pressed shift and limit, and we're looking at the limit one. We can have two limit lines in place, set either of both as lower limits or upper and lower, which would be the most common. And if I go and edit this limit line here, you can see it's a simple table here. I've entered five points, five different frequencies, and amplitude values for each of those points. You can see the dots here on the screen, and the one I'm currently editing is the white one. So for example, if I wanted to change the frequency of this limit line point here, I can simply use the arrow keys or type in a new value. Once we've done that, we can press return, and we can save that limit line file into the internal memory of the analyzer or onto a USB memory stick, and then recall it at any time in the future, and always make sure that we're therefore testing these filters, or it could be an antenna, cable, or even the modulation characteristics of a transmitter, to make sure we're testing them all the same way every time. If you'd like further information on these products, including demonstration guides, operating manuals, or application notes, please visit the website shown below.